Dear Governor Deal, Another Georgia legislative season has come to an end. Yet it's not the end of important legislation which now moves to your desk. Specifically, I'd like to talk about HB 757, the so-called Religious Freedom Bill. Your decision on this bill may outweigh all the others put together. As a Christian, tolerance, love, and forgiveness are the cornerstones of my faith, stronger than any political body or voting bloc. On a spiritual basis, there are no counterarguments greater than those core tenets, and the ultimate battle for my soul can only be fought from within. On a legal basis, carving out sovereign immunity for one group at the expense of another sets a dangerous precedent, as the opportunities for recourse and due process will be stripped away. Those protections are the great equalizers in a free and civilized society. Supporters of the current bill say they're being forced to comply with new federal law without recourse. But laws designed to discourage discrimination are not the same as laws that enable it. On an economic basis, why compromise the years of hard work that made Georgia the number one state to do business, one of your greatest legacies? We live in a diverse world, which includes diverse forms of religious theology, interpretation, and personal expression. Therefore, we must aspire to an inclusive ideal, but within that thought and deed, individual liberties must also end where another's begin. That tender balance already exists. I have every confidence that you'll continue to lead this great state forward with a veto of HB 757. With respect, Rick writes.